Sammy Guevara, Rennie Paquette, Slash Young, or Coco Beware? Uh, let's go the uh, the first one. Sammy Guevara's recent st- backstage battles, not only with Eddie Kingston, but now Andrade. Uh, Guevara complained that Andrade was stiffing him and then went on Twitter to call Andrade a jobber and a favour hire. Altercation happens, Andrade sucker punches Guevara. This is in the back uh, during a dynamite taping uh, that everybody saw coming and Tony Khan did nothing about it or seemingly didn't put extra security or keep them separate for the day. Uh, a theory going round is that Andrade was attempting to get fired so he could go back to WWE, who are possibly interested in him returning. Uh, what do you think yeah, of that? I, well, I'm, I've never seen a company like AEW. They let their talent do almost anything. Now, to issue a private challenge to a guy like Andrade, who could beat the crap out of Sammy Guevara at any time he wants to, and when he goes on Twitter, everybody sees it. It's not like Tony Khan was oblivious to the fact that he was challenging one of his talents. And it makes him look, it makes him look bad, it makes the whole company look bad. And why maybe Guevara was trying to get, I don't know. But I think the, the company is out of control now with Meltzer kind of turning on them and kind of not behind them as much as he was before. I think Tony has worked himself into a shoot. And now he's going to have to see if he can work his way out of this. And him doing those scrums does him no good at all. Unless he can go out there on the scrum and actually take some action that would be concrete and decisive. It's not going to do him any good. The old saying goes, you cannot be, if you're a boss, you cannot be buddy buddy with the employees. You can't be buddy buddy with the talent because wrestlers, by their very nature, are very uh, conniving, <laughs> working guys because that's the business they're in. They're trying to make people believe something is this when it's really not. So when he gets to Tony Khan, they can make him believe something is and is not very easily. Because he's just, a, and I like Tony, but he's just a big fan. Now he gets to play with actual toys and spend some actual money. The old saying in wrestling, how do you make $2 million, uh, million dollars in wrestling? You start with $2 million. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what they used to say. But I think he's, he's, he's let his uh, discipline in his dressing room run rampant without him doing anything. And I don't know what all these agents and that he's got while they let they know about it. Why do they why don't they report that to Tony? So I don't know. I think he's worked himself into a uh, a hole here. It's going to take him a while to work out of it. I, if I was Tony, I would take myself off that TV totally. Mm. With um, just to add uh, the fights. So it is called Andrade. Apparently, sucker punched him. Maybe punched Guevara twice. Guevara did not fight back. That's why he went on to TV later that night. He didn't have any marks on him either, so there can't have been that great a punch. And uh, he wrestled in the main event, or he wrestled on the show in Andrade. I don't think has wrestled since. So the company seems to be taking Sammy's side. Well, it would seem that way. But is it? But should they take Sammy's side? Because he actually, whether there was heat between him and Andrade to begin with, I'm sure there was, but he he put the challenge up there first, didn't he? Andrade tweeted as well. I I'm not that clear on the where with it. it just this was an end bit of news that I just left on quickly. <laughs> I just well, put on the script quickly. Both of them tweeted each other, mm-hmm. so there's bad feelings. And did Tony Khan call them together that night? I very much doubt it. I I think did it somebody was just, get it was word- just ignored essentially. Well, you, you can't ignore that stuff because Andrade is Hispanic and Mexican, right? Mm-hmm. And that is very, in their culture, you don't do that because now he has to he has to stand up for himself. Or his fellow buddies, they think he's just a wussy. And especially with Guevara, who needs to eat a sandwich and might weigh 180 pounds, maybe at most. And so they 
who knows what was said, but Cavaro, he's, he's lucky that's as far as it went, I think. Because how old is how old is Andrade? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, I don't know, mid thirties maybe. He's not that old, is he? I'm gonna I'm gonna Google and find out for you. In fact, y- you might have to talk for a short while while I Google it, though. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're sitting here in this it's this exciting time of the the podcast now. He's thirty two. Ja- All right. <laughs> So that is uh, that's Andrade's thirty-two. Mm-hmm. How old is Guevara? Oh my God! You're gonna have to speak for a second there while I just Google it. Uh, okay, well <laughs> he he can't be about twenty-three, can he? Uh, Maybe twenty-four. Twenty-nine. Okay, well he looks a, a lot younger, but he doesn't look tough. He doesn't look like he could defend himself. And when you run your mouth around a wrestling dressing room, you know somebody's gonna call you on it. Whether you're right or whether you're wrong, they they, they just come up and said, "Hey, what's the deal, man?" You know, and then you talk about it, and you either come to conclusion or you throw you throw hands. Mm-hmm. I've been on s- several ends of that. Uh, you, have you always been like the mediator, the person in between splitting them up more? Or was it you who told me, or maybe it was Ricky Morton or someone who just said, "Whenever I saw a fight in the dressing room, I made sure to stand as far back as possible and just let them fight it out because they may hit me." Well, I was in a small dressing room, and if they'd started fighting, they would have come around. And I, I, I told them to stop. Did I try to stop them? No, I didn't. I just told them to stop. Because there were two guys that we kind of needed that we were using well, and we were really doing good business then. So I didn't want to see either one of them get hurt because that would hurt the value of the cards we were presenting. But they didn't want to stop. And listen, a fight will stop on its own in 15, 20 seconds. Unless, you know, some they really want to slug it out. But most fights, I very seldom saw a fight go more than 30 seconds. Because one guy takes a nice kick and he don't want it. He walks away or whatever. I quit, you know. But fights like that are kind of very short. 